Welcome to another episode of Faith Explorations, the podcast where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. I'm your host, Kenneth Garcia. In episode 50, we're going to explore a crucial topic beyond confession, the deeper meaning of repentance. What does repentance really mean, and why is it so significant in our lives as believers? But our exploration doesn't end here. For more insights that can enrich your journey of faith, be sure to visit us at BibleKeeper.com. So without further ado, let's dive in. Struggling with sins, especially when we've conquered other wrong things we used to do, can make us feel down as believers. You might wonder, why doesn't God just forgive us right away? It might sound strange, but God sometimes lets us struggle with certain sins for a while to help us realize the importance of turning away from them. Repentance isn't just about saying we're sorry. It's much more powerful. In the Bible, the word for repentance is metanoia, which means changing the way we think or thinking differently afterward. This change in our hearts is really important in our relationship with God. When we talk about repentance in a big way, it means we admit we've done wrong. We understand how God forgives us because of Jesus. We really don't like sin, and we choose to stop doing it and live the way God wants us to. So even though it might be tough when we're dealing with persistent sins, it's all part of learning and growing closer to God. In the Old Testament, there's a special Hebrew word for repentance, and it's called shub. This word carries a profound meaning. It's like saying to return or come back. So what the Bible teaches us is that when we recognize our mistakes or bad deeds, we should come back to following God's ways. But true. Repentance is more than just feeling sorry or regretful. It involves changing the way we think and feel because of God's love. It means adjusting our hearts to match what God wants and turning away from things that disappoint Him. On the flip side, if we're not willing to change and stick stubbornly to our own ways, the Bible calls this being stiff-necked or stubborn. This means we're not open to accepting God's love and wisdom. When our hearts are hard like this, God can't work His magic to transform our lives for the better. So, it's essential to understand and practice true repentance, which is all about returning to God's loving guidance. The nature of true repentance is exemplified in biblical characters like Job, Isaiah, Peter, and even the thief on the cross. When they encountered God, they saw themselves in a new light and turned away from their old ways. Repentance is not just about emotions. It's about changed behavior. Genuine repentance results in regret for past wrongdoing and a sincere desire to make amends. Some people may think they need to be good enough before they can come to Jesus, but the Bible teaches otherwise. We are saved through faith in Jesus Christ, not by our own merits or good deeds. Repentance is incredibly important, especially before we find salvation. It's all about changing our hearts and minds to be closer to God, and this goes hand in hand with believing in Jesus Christ. You don't need to wait for a special time to do this. You can turn to God with true repentance and faith whenever you feel it's right. When we talk to kids about repentance, it's best to keep things simple. Focus on the good side of it and remember that everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Show them how to be humble, just like Jesus, and remind them of Jesus' love and kindness. Repentance is like a foundation for the message of Jesus. It's super important for our lives right now and for our forever future. It's not just about saying sorry or feeling bad about the wrong things we've done. It's like a big change that brings us even closer to God, and that's pretty amazing. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Faith Explorations. We hope you found this discussion enlightening and encouraging. Remember, God's love and grace are always available to us, and true repentance opens the door to a transformed life in Christ. If you enjoyed today's discussion and want to explore more topics related to spirituality, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And visit us at BibleKeeper.com for more resources that will enrich your faith journey. Join us next time as we continue to explore matters of faith and spirituality. Until then, may God bless you abundantly.